Okay guys, I'm starting a new series, I call it Spear and Cook. Uh, in each episode, I'll be taking a different species from the ocean and showing you guys how to catch and cook it uh, based on your request or my personal uh, favorite things to eat. And yeah, let's jump into the video. Okay, so in this episode, it was requested by one of you guys to go after Taco. Now, taco is just the word we use for octopus in Hawaii. And so, for octopus, you don't actually shoot octopus or taco. You don't shoot taco. Because uh, as you see in this clip, he, he'll go in his hole. And if I shoot him in his hole, he'll get stuck in there. So what I do is I tickle him. And I'm just taking something sharp and I'm poking him, uh, making him irritated so that he has to come out of the hole eventually. And when you pull him out, uh, that's how you catch him. You grab him around the head by the eyes, um, keep a firm grip so he can't uh, his skirt away, you know, swim out of there. But yeah, that's how you get it done. Uh, this one, I released it, let him go. He was too small. The legal size for these guys is one pound, and this guy was probably around a pound. But um, I typically go for taco that are um, two pounds and up because I like to let the smaller ones live. So I caught a bunch of these uh, small, smaller taco today, and I'll just let you guys watch these clips for a little bit. And uh, I'll get back to you when I start going after the ones that uh, I actually kept. <laughs> to go over the ways that you can tell a taco is in a hole or there is a taco there. So uh, in this instance, I can actually see the taco from the surface. It, it looks like a little brown dot. Uh, and he's just hanging out outside his hole. But if you're in shallow water, uh, in front of their hole, they'll usually decorate it with rocks and dead coral and stuff like that to protect their hole from things that are like little fish. Uh, another way to tell that they're there is uh, if fish are pecking at like a hole or rocks in the, on the ground or at uh, gaps in coral because a lot of fish like to eat octopus, but they're not the easiest to get. But fish like moanos, uh, a lot of surgeon fish, wrasses will start pecking at these octopus if they see it. So if you see like a group of these fish, around a rock or a hole, that means there's probably a taco there. Now here, uh, this this is one of the tacos I kept. Uh, once again, I saw the little brown dot on the ground and I saw it move a little bit, so I knew it was a taco. Uh, I took the drop here, I'm going down, uh, and then once I get there, I start poking 
poking at the taco and uh, trying to get it out of the hole but I actually was pretty tired by I by the time I got to this taco so I started to run out of air. So one thing you can do is grab their legs and yank them out of the hole instead of waiting for them to come out. Uh, so I just used that little trick in this instance and uh, I'll show you guys one more clip. Uh, it's the second taco I caught. It's around this size and I'll see you guys in the kitchen. Once you got most of the slime off, you're going to take their head, you're going to tear this, there's a little thing that was attached here, and then you're going to just turn the head inside out, and it's going to reveal all of this stuff, this is all its organs, and you're just going to want to either get a knife and cut it out, or just tear it out like this. intestines, the ink sac, and everything, you're just going to want to throw that away, and then you have your taco here, make sure you wash off all the ink, scrub off all the slime, and you should be good to go. So I'm going to take care of the other one real quick, and then we'll cook these guys up. Okay, so, uh, I clean the taco and I cut it up into pieces here uh, these are just the little taco pieces and um, these are only two tentacles because um, the taco was pretty big and I want to save some of it for bait and some of it for later also when you're cooking taco you should freeze it for a couple days first because it'll get uh, softer uh, but I'm doing this for the sake of the video but if you freeze it the pieces will get softer and it'll be easier to eat but this is just for the video uh, so I cut the thing into pieces. This is just the skinny part that isn't uh, big enough to make into pieces and I'm just going to use that for bait. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to salt and pepper uh, the pieces, put it in the flour and then fry it again. I'm, I'm just getting kind of repetitive that I fry every fish but eventually I'll show more recipes I promise. So I'm just going to get that done, I'll show you guys me cooking it, and then the finished product when it's done.
It's not recording.